YouTube, what is good and welcome back. Wanted to come back with a pickups video. It's actually been quite a few months since my last dedicated pickups video. Got some really cool pieces to show you guys. So let's go ahead and hop right into that. All right, so we're gonna start off with footwear. First up, I have my first purchase from a cold wall. This is the NC1 Dirt Mock. Really cool kind of sneaker hiking hybrid. Really chunky, substantial hiker bottom. Plenty of traction on here. This is also a laceless shoe. So you've got a stretchy material that just kind of wraps and hugs your foot. And then a really interesting upper material on these as well. They call it like a ripstop nubuck. Not really sure where the nubuck but part of this comes in unless it's underneath this kind of ripstop coating on top of here. It's actually a really kind of firm material in the toe box. So I'm assuming there's something to keep this shape underneath at least the toe. Some really subtle cold wall branding hits on the front toe and then again on the inside of the shoe as well. You have two holes here that give it a little bit of airflow and breathability, one on the inside and then one on the outside heel here. This is a really simple upper, not a lot of layers, patterns, stitching. You have one visible stitch here that kind of keeps these two layers together. I'm sure there's some glue underneath here as well. This looks more like it's for aesthetics than anything else. And then you've kind of got like some more cold wall branding embossed or debossed on the heel here. Haven't had a chance to really wear these out yet. Have no idea how this upper material will age as far as creasing and stuff like that with heavy mounts of wear how these will look if they'll age well or not we'll see i'll keep you guys updated in future videos on that definitely leans itself more on the tech wear side i went with a size 10 and they fit pretty true to size i'm generally between a 10 and a 10 and a half in most shoes and these work just fine for me all right next we have a sneaker that i've been wanting for years probably 10 plus years this is the visvim skagway this is one of the more recent seasons of the Skagway, a goat tier daily sneaker that you can just kind of beat into the ground. I think the only difference between this and some of the previous seasons, the newer seasons have this really large leather tab. I think they always came with this, this smaller Visvim leather patch here, but the recent ones have been coming with this as well. Ended up getting these in a size 10. These fit pretty true to size as well. Not much to say about these. They've been around for forever. It's a great daily pair of sneakers definitely higher quality than your average pair of chuck 70s all right and lastly for the footwear we've got the 1906 r rosewater this is of course in collaboration with action bronson specializing in a life here new balance baklava branding again on the shoe bag this is a really cool orange and this is a really nice mess shoe bag everything down to the packaging really really good ton of effort thought and detail put into these recent collaborations this was my my favorite color out of the recent collaborations was not able to pick these up for retail unfortunately so i did pay resale but really love this colorway action bronson says this is heavily influenced by the attire that uh women's aerobics had like in the 80s and you can really see that influence in the colorway. I do love that the upper is not the typical material for the 1906R on these. Really, really cool. Plenty of reviews on these already on YouTube, so I won't go in depth. A really fun summer sneaker for sure. Looking forward to adding these in casually into the summer rotation. All right, and to finish up accessories, I did get this Veneta Carter bracelet. I got one before already, but the second one was a gift from my wife. I wanted the one with the colorful jewels in it. And honestly, now that I have this one in hand, if you were trying to decide between this one and the one without the jewels, just get the cheaper one without the gems. The gems are a dark color than how they're represented on the website. So they don't really like shine and gleam or catch your attention unless you're really, really close up to the bracelet. So you might as well just get the cheaper one. You're not really gonna be able to tell the difference when it's on your wrist anyway. Uh, nonetheless, happy to have this. It's a gorgeous bracelet and a unique design compared to just the regular regular Cuban link bracelet that I usually wear. And lastly, I have this La Mer soft game bag. This is the size large. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I have the smaller version of this as well in a different color. I've been traveling quite a bit lately and I've been finding myself missing a slightly bigger version of the bags that I have as like a carry on or a personal item. Checking your bag in with an 
airline has just gotten so expensive nowadays that half the time, if it's like a weekend trip, I'm just going to stuff everything into personal item size. Really expensive, especially considering the fact that this is pretty much only usable as a travel bag. Too big, honestly, to wear as like a daily bag. But if I'm only going to have one of these, wanted it to be really nice. Looking forward to using this in the future, just kind of breaking it in and having it age beautifully over time with use. And honestly, these La Mer soft game bags in any size, this is really my favorite bag out of all the different designer and luxury tier bags that you can purchase. Right now, this is definitely my favorite at the moment. All right, next up we have tops. First one I wanna show you guys is this button up shirt from a brand called Document. I believe Document's based out of Korea. Ended up picking this up on a trip to Colorado. Was able to visit the Canoe Club store in person. Really dope store, really cool vibes. The employees were super helpful. If you're ever in Colorado and get a chance to stop by, definitely make sure you do. This is a oversized relaxed fit kind of white and blue button up shirt. My favorite feature about this one, other than the fit, this one actually has front pockets so you can like stick your phone, your AirPods, your wallet in there if you need to quickly. It's a very lightweight shirt, so you can definitely get away with this on top of a white t-shirt in the summer. Being that it's a light material, I wouldn't put anything too heavy in the pockets. I ended up picking this up in a size large. This shirt in particular does fit pretty big. Probably could have gotten away with a medium as well if I wanted to size down for a less oversized fit. All right, next up, we have a Stussy hoodie. Again, picked this up from Canoe Club. It's a really simple, washed, black, relaxed, boxy kind of fit hoodie. Just says Stussy International on the front. Absolutely did not need another washed black or gray hoodie in my rotation, but when I tried this on, just couldn't pass it up for the price point. Stussy actually released these in quite a few colorways, and honestly, all of the colorways looked good, and they all have like a washed, faded kind of look to them. Can have highly recommend these if you're interested. All right, lastly for tops slash outerwear, this is the only jacket. Ended up picking up this Jill Sander bomber. This was actually a birthday present. So shout out again to wifey. She helped me pick this one up. Very expensive piece, but I've been looking for a high quality designer tier kind of bomber jacket for years. Ended up snagging two of them actually. Both were from Jill Sander. Decided, hey, I'll just pick both of these up. Whichever one I like better, I'll keep. Another one I'll send back. So I ended up liking this one one and it was the cheaper out of the two. So kind of a win-win in that situation. The other one was just a little bit too cropped for me and the fit wasn't flattering on me at all. But yeah, gorgeous bomber jacket in all black. No complaints whatsoever. Other than the inside tag started to unstitch on me a little bit, but yeah, easy fix at any tailor. Obviously here in Florida, it's super hot right now. So yeah, we'll not be getting anywhere out of this for at least six months at the minimum. All right, lastly, we have pants. The first pair is from Fear of God. This is the main line. If you saw my last most recent video before this, it was the shorts rotation. Ended up picking up my first main line Fear of God piece when that video, pair of sweat shorts, and that kind of sent me down a rabbit hole of checking out other pieces from the main line. This pair of track pants is like 800 euros or something absolutely ridiculous like that. But I will say this is the highest quality pair of track pants I have ever touched and tried on in my life. Gorgeous, gorgeous material. It's got like a smooth satin kind of feel and look to it. Really comfortable. My only gripe with these is there's no back pocket, but again, it's a really simple, clean kind of design. So I guess they just wanted to keep it a little bit more minimal. Got these heavily discounted. Couldn't pass them up at that point. So far, the quality on the main line pieces I've received has been top notch. All right. And last but not least for the bottom, I picked up a pair of trousers from Bottega Veneta. This, in my opinion, is like the perfect pair of tan chinos. I've been looking for a really simple flat front cotton canvas kind of material chino pant, and these just like checked all the boxes for me. It's light enough where it's still comfortable. The material is heavy enough where it can still kind of keep its shape and structure. A really simple, minimal pair of pants, some small cool details like some exaggerated belt loops and some large patch pockets on the back. All in all, it's just a really simple, classic pair of chinos. The pricing on these is absolutely ridiculous as well. I did get these discounted and even with the discount, this price was just too high to recommend, honestly. You could probably get something comparable enough from Vintage or like J. Crew or Double RL or something like that. So unless you just have like excessive amounts of expendable cash, but yeah, gorgeous pair of pants nonetheless. So there you have it. Those are the pickups I've had over the last 
three, four months or so. Really appreciate anyone who's made it this far in the video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Definitely more men's fashion related content to come in the future. And if you're a returning subscriber, really appreciate you checking in with the channel. Definitely let me know in the comments which pickup was your favorite or if you have any questions about the pieces. That's all I had for you guys today. Peace.